And uh, hi. Hi, I'm Michael Grimsley with Lenovo. I've got our Lenovo Tab Extreme here. And with this tablet, we call it the Extreme because we brought in a lot of Extreme features um, comparably to our other tablets in this in this segment here. So first and foremost, uh, some of the major differences from our previous tablets, you'll notice the design overall. So as it sits in this keyboard dock, it practically floats above, but it can easily detach. And when you detach this keyboard, uh, you can see the pogo pins that connect to the keyboard itself, so you don't have to worry about Bluetooth connectivity. It's a physical connection. But you also have a secondary kickstand nice. in the back. And we've done that for a couple of reasons. For one, of course, if you don't want to carry the keyboard, you don't have to. If you just want to consume some media, watch a movie, you can do that. But on the side, you've got two type C ports. And those, uh, one supports display in, and one display supports display out as well. So what that means, you can use this as a secondary monitor for wow. your PC as well. So, you can connect anything but. Yeah, but. anything with a type C display port connection across. Um, so why I like that is if you're maybe traveling a lot, use this on the plane for entertainment, play a game, watch a movie, but when you're in your hotel room or maybe a coffee shop and you need to get some extra work done, most of us are used to having two screens for their desktop could you, PC. Uh, could you uh, record a uh, display source uh, inside an Android app? That'd be fun. I don't think so, right? Probably not, but I'll have to look into that yeah. later. Um, so again, you got those two type C ports. Use this as a external monitor. So it's running the, the MediaTek Dimensity 9000. It's uh, really powerful, the, the most powerful yeah, MediaTek. So exactly, it's one of the most powerful MediaTek processors. Um, again, it lends itself to that Tab Extreme name because of that. So we've got great performing machine overall here. Um, and you can even see that a little bit with the fact that we've added that 120 hertz refresh rate display on this. So everything's gonna feel very snappy. It's gonna look very smooth. Um, when you're opening apps, moving back and forth, uh, or if you're wanting to play some games, of course, that's going to be great for if you're playing something that's more competitive. Is it better than the iPad Pro? As far as? Uh, everything. Uh, we like to think it is, yeah. So it's a very high resolution uh, display. <laughs> it's got a, um, a, a, what do you call it, 3K? Yes, so, so we're running off a 14 and a half inch full display. Um, it's a 3000 um, by 1876 display, so we're at 3K here. Um, and again, that 120 hertz refresh rate. You still have Dolby Vision, you've got HDR10+, um, you know, all the great things you want out of a display for both entertainment or for productivity. Great speakers? We've got several speakers in here, so we've jam-packed, um, we've got uh, eight speakers total, so four tweets, four woofers, and you've got those on the sides here, so uh, you can see two sets on that side, and of course, two sets on the other side, so you get that stereo sound um, if you're using it. And the great engineering for the, for the audio? Yes, yes. Um, so we got JBL, JBL tuned uh, speakers with that as well, um, so of course, not only will it be very loud, but it'll sound nice and clear as well. And it's okay, it goes to the sides, it still feels... Yes, you'll still, uh, you'll still get a little bit of a stereo image, especially with how big this tablet is. Um, so you'll actually will get some sound on the left and the right. So it's really like a home theater tablet, yeah, laptop yeah. kind of form factor. Yeah, full entertainment package on this. How good is the keyboard? So it's a, it's a pretty great keyboard. Um, I know it's hard to see on this, but this is going to be comparable to a lot of other standard laptops. As good as the uh, ThinkPad? I'm not going to say it's as good as ThinkPad, because we all know if you love a ThinkPad keyboard, it's hard to replicate that. But this is going to be a really great keyboard regardless. And the mouse? You still have a full touchpad down here as well. So if you're wanting to use that for that productivity mode um, and actually scroll through documents, you've got scroll, you've got multi-touch. And the hinge uh, is uh, adjustable in all kinds of uh, ways? <laughs> yeah, so we have a couple uh, tilt adjustability there, and you can see it really snaps down magnetically um, to the bottom. And a couple things with that, so uh, from there you can probably see that we do have a pin on the back. It magnetically charges there, uh, but when I remove that and say I'm done for the day and I want to uh, you know, pack up and take this home, I can snap that to the bottom right there, 
And so going back to that hinge, when you close it down, it gets completely hidden away uh, when you shut this. So that way oh. you don't have to worry about losing the pin when you are when you put this in your backpack or if you're carrying this around you know, nice. the office or the home. Is it affordable? How much is the price? So price is going to be $1,200 US dollars. So it is on the higher, more premium side. But again, with all the high-end features with that MediaTek Dimensity, the OLED display. 12 gigs of RAM? 12 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, you get just about everything you can ask for. And can we open tablet. this part here? Um, yeah. So you have like split screen for the apps? Yeah, so that goes back to some of the features we, we've put in this in the past, but we're also leveraging Android 13 on this as well. <coughs> and then uh, what you can do with, uh, you can adjust stuff? You can do some adjustability, so that way, say, if you want to type on one side and maybe um, view your content on another, so copy and pasting and whatnot, you can do that. Um, or, like as you saw, if you really like to multitask and have several things going, you can do that. And so you could use a second display also? Yes. So hook this up using the Type-C port. Um, easily connect this to your Windows PC or anything that supports a display over Type-C. And you get this beautiful 14 and a half inch display as an external monitor, which is better than what some people's laptops use nowadays, both in quality and in size. And if you want to uh, have a full Windows app, you can just remote desktop to some apps that do, do these kind of things in the cloud, potentially, and stuff well, like that. So we do have our Lenovo Freestyle software as well that allows you to use this as an external display wirelessly. Um, whether you're you know, in a hotel room or at home. Um, so maybe if you forget your cable for the day, um, you can do that. And what's nice about that freestyle software is if you do pair this with your Windows PC and use this screen as a secondary monitor, it'll support the pin and the touch input as well. So maybe your Windows PC doesn't have pin input, but you need to sign a document or jot down some notes, you can do that in Windows uh, by using this tablet with Lenovo Freestyle. Is this the future of productivity? I think it just depends on who you are. Um, if you're somebody who really enjoys the Android ecosystem, this is going to be a great system for you because you've got those split screen functionality, you've got a very large and vibrant display, so you're not going to feel like it's a cramped experience, and you do get that large full-size keyboard and touchpad as well. I wonder how good uh, uh, Google's official Android is for productivity and, <laughs> and uh, having apps really optimized for uh, like uh, laptop form factors and stuff like that, or is it still mostly tablet optimized apps? Uh, I think it's, so with Android 13 on this, you do have a lot of tablet optimization overall, as you saw with the split screen capabilities and being able to also do uh, basic docking with your apps as well. So that's something that you might feel more comfortable from a Windows environment, um, but be able to use that on Android and easily access those apps so they're not constantly behind your main app. Uh, definitely increases productivity, or if you just like to multitask in general again, it helps with that as well.